Well, a very good evening to you. Thanks for clicking on to this brief edition of Vogan's Views in the USA. And we have got a plenty of weather to talk about across the, the lower 48 over the next 36 to 48 hours. An area of low pressure, upper level low pressure, pushing into California tonight. As it does so, it will move into the, the Rocky Mountains. Behind that, two to four inches of snow is expected widely across the Great Basin. Uh, two to four inches quite widely. Six inches to eight inches perhaps across the higher elevations of the Wasatch of Utah, the Rockies of Colorado. And uh, as the system then pushes, uh, squeezed from the Rockies, pushes out into the greater depths of the atmosphere that is the Great Plains, we're going to see the system, folks, over the course of tomorrow start to intensify pretty rapidly as well. And the problem is, as it does so, watch out for that warm fuel pushing northwards up into the system. And of course, you've got a strong jet stream as well. And along that jet stream, folks, you've got an area of upward motion, rapid, strong, intense upward motion as well. So we're watching across the eastern uh, the eastern side of uh, Oklahoma and the Texas we're watching out for severe thunderstorms that form up very heavy rain then across the Ohio Valley as well but I'm watching out for that very heavy uh, rainfall as well as strong thunderstorms across uh, eastern Oklahoma and northeast Texas into particularly uh, Arkansas from late afternoon into the evening and even up into Missouri later tomorrow night. So the concern of course for severe weather in this region here as well as that we have got very heavy snowfall from eastern parts of uh, Montana through North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin and into the northern UP and the UP of Michigan. Very heavy snowfall, as well as that area of low pressure starting to intensify. We're going to be seeing blizzard conditions uh, across the Dakotas, central and uh, central and southern parts of Minnesota, and into the northern half of Wisconsin, into Michigan as well. I'm expecting a widespread 4 to 8 inch swath of snow within that band of snow, folks, uh, anywhere from southern North Dakota, northern South Dakota, central Minnesota to the north of the Twin Cities into the northern central part of, of Wisconsin. Uh, I could see 8 to 12 inches quite easily. Perhaps the odd spot picking up 15 inches of snow. But very heavy snow as well as that very strong winds will produce blizzard conditions. So watch out for that folks. And of course like I said to you the severe weather threat 2 perhaps even 3 inches of rain across the Ohio Valley. And as well as that, we will be looking for uh, heavy snow pushing into upstate New York across the majority of New England, including uh, even Boston. We could be picking up the biggest snow totals of the season so far with a single snowstorm. And uh, we certainly have got a lot to talk about. This is the snow totals off the AccuWeather.com. Certainly uh, pretty high uh, snow totals. Wouldn't be surprised right enough uh, about the 12 to 18 inches. I don't know if that 18 inches is perhaps a little high. Uh, certainly I think um, you know 12 to 15 is quite plausible. But you notice here, very much in agreement with the snow band uh, person from the, the, the central Dakotas through central Minnesota into northern Wisconsin and of course the UP and Michigan as well. Watching out for a... a an ice threat across perhaps far southern uh, Minnesota and as well as that through the northern suburbs of Chicago, southern uh, Wisconsin, through uh, Detroit perhaps and even that into the far south of New York State, perhaps even the north suburbs of New York City as well to the north of that heavy snowfall. So we've got plenty of things to talk about folks. Very dangerous conditions across the northern flank of the system and of course even the south of the system, dangerous conditions. Heavy rain, strong, uh, strong to severe thunderstorms and perhaps we could be looking at some isolated tornadoes as well. Going to try and continue to keep you up to date as much as possible. Continue to keep checking back to my blog as well as that. The, the folks at First Hand Weather, uh, my team will keep you up to speed with the conditions as well. And as well as that, follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't already done so. Bye for now.